This is an H2A PAC news and comments story about hydrogen tech, policy, and finance from Asian and Pacific nations from our studios in sunny Southern California. Today we are talking about an article from the China Hydrogen Bulletin. It's the world's first direct seawater electrolysis floating platform tested successfully in China. So a shout out to Jen Wu at the Bulletin and this article is from July 14th, 2023. There's a link in the notes. We also discuss an article in Nature Magazine that you may be interested in. The link is also in the notes. That is a membrane-based seawater electrolyzer for hydrogen generation. This article says, China tested its first direct floating seawater electrolysis platform recently off the coast of Fujian. So this is a platform in the ocean that produces hydrogen with no desalinization needed. Until now, hydrolysis needs clean, fresh water to do desalinization. But China says they figured out how to make hydrogen directly from seawater. Now, this is a big deal as seawater desalinization is expensive and uses a lot of energy in the process. So producing fresh water with desalinization is viewed as better for drinking water for people. This platform produced 386 liters of hydrogen per hour for 3,200 hours. So the Dongfang Electric Group and Xie Heping's team at Shenzhen University and Sichuan University made it happen. Within one month, the research results were published and an agreement was signed for commercialization of this technology. Here's my comments. Anywhere with ocean access might like this technology, but especially hot and arid places like the Middle East, parts of Africa and India, Southern California and Northern Australia. Other companies are working on hydrogen generation platforms, like LIFE in Normandy in France, but the difference in this Chinese platform is that it claims it does not need to desalinate water, seawater, before splitting it to get hydrogen. It doesn't need to make seawater into fresh water before making hydrogen from it. If this technology can scale, it can reduce the cost of a hydrogen production plant. Desalinization is expensive. As the climate changes and heats up, we want to use our energy to make fresh water for people through ocean water desalinization, not really for industrial processes. There may be a long road to go before this technology comes out in the marketplace from this team, and there are challenges in hooking up renewable power to the platform, but this is one to watch. We also want to see if any other teams worldwide are working on the same tech. If you know of one, put it in the notes below. H2 APAC is news and comment about hydrogen tech, policy, and finance from Asian and Pacific nations. It is produced by Treasure Beam. We also have Hoot CP hydrogen training and certification and H Tuesdays hydrogen industry meetups. Contact us through our Treasure Beam website at treasurebeam.com.